Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. And today, I really want to talk about a word that I feel like can accelerate your progress. No matter what goal you are looking to achieve, whether that's business or personal or in sports, whatever your goal is, you can accelerate your process, your progress right now. I want to talk about one word that I feel like has accelerated my progress and a lot of those others that I have looked up to, people, mentors, or other really experienced, really successful entrepreneurs, business owners, or people that have just met and crushed really big goals. I am curious about what it takes, what it is. And in examining my own life and examining lives of others that have achieved this, there is a couple of common denominators, what you know among experts, what you know among when you think of somebody who has success or success that maybe you want to get closer to. What do they have? What do they do? What is it? Is there a one thing? Is there a specific thing? Um, I can tell you one of the things that the experts have, that the successful people have, is experience. Now, experience can mean several different things. I have experience as in accumulation of knowledge or skills that, re that come from direct participation in events. That is like the definition of, of experience. Accumulation of knowledge or skills that have resulted, that have results from direct participation in an event or an activity. So I have 20 years of e-commerce experience. So that's kind of experience. But then there's, I had an, an experience, a specific experience, firsthand knowledge of, of a particular event, a direct observation of a particular event. That's, I had an experience. So I had an interesting experience at the market today would be an example of that kind of experience. And I want to talk to you about the meanings of these experiences and how they're important and how they relate to our success. And all of this comes from this quote that I recently read. I was looking at experience, looking at experience from other people, my own personal experiences and what we do there. And I don't know if you know this lady. You should if you don't. Her name is Jean Chatsky, and she um, is a leading expert in money and finance, specifically geared towards women. The, uh, she's the author of many books, include to, including like How to Money, Mon Women with Money, The Difference, and a few others. And she's the host of a podcast called Her Money. So right now, go and subscribe to that podcast because why because with women with money or without money we we need to learn more about it and how it relates to us and how it relates to us uh, specifically and maybe she'll be on the amazon files one day and we can talk to her personally but i want to read this quote from her because jean is a money expert and this quote really resonated with me because i'm like yes this is true for me. This is true for a lot of people. And it changes everything. She says a lot about earning, a lot about saving and planning and spending, but she's not shy about telling you where the best money is spent. And here is the quote that I want to talk about today. Jean says, buy experiences, not things. Spending on experiences makes people happier than spending your money on things. Things get broken. They go out of style. They get discarded. They get forgotten. Experiences get better every time you talk about them, every time you remember them, how every time you bring them to mind, you had an experience. Now, why do I love this quote so much? It gets to the heart of what we all really want deep down. We want to feel alive and connected. And experiences are alive and fluid. Experiences create emotion and opportunity for growth and experiences can be relived and revived in our minds as often as we'd like. Experiences create memories that last. Now we're going to prove this right now. So I hope you guys are in the mood to participate here because if you're like driving your car, walking the dog, you're going to have to just improvise here because you're not going to be able to close your eyes. Everyone else, I want you to close your eyes. We're going to prove this theory really quickly. This is my sad attempt at this this experiment here but I think it's really important to just think about these things for a minute 
So I'm going to ask you a question and I'm just going to pause and give you a few seconds to think about it because it's going to be something that you just, just think about. So I'm going to ask you now, this is like November. So this is almost a year ago. What did you receive for Christmas last year? Can you name a gift that you got for Christmas? A thing. I actually struggle because I'm not, I can't quite remember. There's one thing that's very memorable that I use every day. And that's something that I love. Um, but it's kind of hard. It was difficult to be like, oh, what did I get for Christmas last year? And I had to start really thinking, what did my mom get me? What did my sister, my husband, my children? Because I'm not all about gifts all the time. I, I am about experience. I love to experience things. Now, I'm going to ask you a different question. Some of us may have recalled something that we that we got for Christmas last year. Some of us may not be able to recall something. Something. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. Think about the best Christmas that you've ever had in your lifetime. Well, I'm 40 plus, so I have plenty of Christmases to recall. Some great, some not so great. Or the best birthday. If you don't celebrate Christmas, everyone has a birthday, right? What is your best birthday? Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes. If you're walking the dog or driving, please don't do this. But like, close your eyes. And we're going to go back to that moment. I'm going to go there with you. Okay? Close your eyes. And go back to that time. Best Christmas ever. Best birthday ever. Best event ever. Whatever is standing out in your mind. Who was there? What was happening around you? What were the smells, the sounds, the visuals in the room? What do you remember feeling about this best Christmas ever? What made this such a memorable moment for you? See, being there, feeling the feelings in the moment, seeing the faces and hearing the sounds in the room. Why won't you forget that? Well, because you were there. You were fully immersed and experienced the moment. You were actively participating in an event, which is the definition of experience. See, remember, we remember far more about experiences and events when we are fully present and immersed in the moment. The more senses that we use, the more we remember those moments. We can attach sights, smells, sounds, feelings, environment. The more senses that we involve in an experience, the more we remember those. Now, honestly, I barely remember anything about last Christmas, and that was just a year ago. But I fully remember the hysterical talent show from last year. See, in our family on Christmas Eve, my mom has started this amazing tradition um, many years ago that we were just going to have a fun, silly time. Of course, food, fellowship. We go to church and then we go to mom's house and we have all of the Christmas food and all of the fun. And we do a family talent show. Of course, it's private. It's all just us. But we have kind of a big family. So this is a big ordeal. And everybody knows the talent show comes and, and all kinds of talents are accepted. Some people paint, some people sing, some people do skits, some people dance, some people write poems, some people, I don't know, it's it's so hysterical. It's fun, it's warming, it's entertaining, it's emotional. Now those things, I won't forget. The gifts, eh, I'm sure I've got great gifts over time and I love gifts, who doesn't? But those aren't what stick out in our lives. Our lives are marked by experiences. Experiences change us inside. You can't unmeet someone. You can't unhear. You can't unsee. Now, I do a ton of interviews on podcasts and webinars, and I get this question a lot. This question, what is the best investment you've made into your business? It's all relevant to experience. When someone asks me that, right? They say, what is the best investment you've made into your business? People want to know, what are the tools? What are the things? The best money I've ever spent in my business was for experiences. Not tools, not hardware, not software. 
experiences. Why? Because the value cannot be measured. Because the value changes you inside. It helps you solidify and clarify what you want and need. So the best money I ever spent is literally intentional education, going to events and having experiences. When I personally can see, hear, smell, touch, feel, I remember more. And when I remember more, it's easier to practice what I'm learning. I get faster. I get more efficient. I figure things out differently. I can get more creative when I'm not focusing all the time on the fundamentals and the basics. I have an experience for this aha moment. I remember the two specific events, experiences that I had that changed my business and my life forever. One of them specifically in 2015, long time ago, and again in 2018, the experiences I had at these events. One, I attended a workshop that showed me a step-by-step process for reaching the goal, which I reached after that experience. Another event I attended, I was introduced to others who have greatly helped me along my path in business. So in, let me tell you a story. In 2015, We were financially tight. I was just getting mommy income off the ground. I had just started mommy income and teaching people and doing webinars. And I'd been about six months and I was loving it. And I was creating new content and I was getting excited about helping people on their Amazon journey. But money was tight and there was this conference coming up, a smaller conference. It was going to be about a 10 hour drive. I knew I could improve my Amazon skills if I was able to go to this conference and meet some of these people who have this experience, the other kind of experience, (laughs) and have all this Amazon stuff figured out. I presented this case to my husband. I was like, it was almost like a presentation. It was like, this is why I think I should go. This is how I'm going to pay for it. This is what I hope to learn. And these are the results I hope to get. When I learn from these people, my business is going to grow. It was going to cost a couple thousand dollars. And at the time, that was going to be a sacrifice. I was going to need to travel for four whole days. But I knew that once I learned the things I was going to learn, I couldn't unlearn them. I knew I was going to earn more by going to this event. Or at least that's what I hoped. To be honest, I didn't really know. I was convinced that any learning was good learning and that it would help me grow. That's all I needed to know. But it was my first experience doing that. I was nervous. I was scared. What if I get nothing out of this? What if I spend all this money and time away from my family and I don't learn a thing? Or I'm confused or I'm overwhelmed. I will tell you this. I am where I am today because of the people that I met at that conference in 2015. I met with one of the industry's top educators at the time, and he nudged me to write a book. (laughs) Y'all know I wrote a book, right? (laughs) But it wasn't then. That was just the nudge. That was just the seed that was planted. I had to water it and weed it and cultivate it. It wasn't until three years later at another event that I was introduced to a book editor. Y'all. That was no coincidence. Just no coincidence. Since beginning my business, I have invested over $20,000 in events and experiences and education for personal development, business strategy, coaching, coaching, (laughs) courses, conferences, retreats, experts. What I have learned by attending events and talking with people is they are worth more than any tool or software or even, dare I say, a course. Yes, your course creator is telling you that sometimes these experiences can be more valuable to your growth 
than even a course. Although courses are necessary, we need to learn what we don't know in order to grow our business and grow ourselves personally. I'm constantly educating myself one way or the other. But no one can actually take an experience from you. The last few years of conferences and events being few and far between have been really crushing to me because I love events. When I can see, feel, touch, smell, taste, experience the whole entire senses of everything, that's when I grow the most. Now, that's not always for everyone, but I always encourage everyone to give it a try. Even if you are the shyest, most introverted person, there's a seat at the table for you. You can listen, observe, write stuff down. You don't always have to be an extroverted person to be able to experience an event, an event that's essential for your growth. Because no one can take that away from you. You can lose money. You can lose friends. You can lose family. You can get sick. You can move out of town. All of your circumstances can change in the blink of an eye. Hello, 2020. (laughs) But no one can take away experience, your experiences, your knowledge, your skills, your memories. Events. Meeting with people that are smarter than me, that know more than me, that have been there and done that. And getting alongside people that are just like me, that are willing and wanting to learn. And they don't know everything, (laughs) hello me, Um, and want to learn more and grow. Going to events, conferences, meetups, masterminds, workshops will change the course of your business. I mean, why do employers say experience required rather than we only accept Harvard graduates? Y'all, people want experience. It gives you confidence and credibility. Not just having an experience, like going to an event and talking with people and learning new things and putting those things into practice, but actually gaining experience for yourself. How do you gain experience? How do you turn an experience like a conference or an event or even a local meetup group into experience for yourself? First of all, you got to do the work. Do the work. I know, is anybody here um, addicted to learning, perpetual learner, always a student, always a student, always a student? Well, I am always a student. I totally believe in that. However, you can't always be learning and not doing. We've got to put our learning, our acquired skills to the test. We have to practice them. We have to be intentional about using those skills and that experience to our advantage. To our advantage. Do you have skills that you're not taking advantage of? Do you have an experience that has changed you that you're not allowing it to change you? Are you being intentional about gaining more experience or experiences? It will tell you how to gain more experience. It's not just time. It's not just time. A lot of people think, oh, well, you've been doing this for 20 years. Well, yes. But I had choices of what to do during those 20 years. I could be intentional. I went to events. I did the work. I practiced the work. I failed the work. I tried it again. Do y'all know how many times I started and stopped writing this book that I finally wrote and published? And got out to the world. Lots of times. I started. I had a writing plan. I was doing things. I got up to chapter four one time all by myself. But then couldn't get it done. All of the blocks. All of the mental uh, things. I didn't have enough time. It wasn't a priority. All these different things. It wasn't until that experience 
of meeting with a book editor that it was introduced to, poked yet again to say, I have experience, I can help you. And now I've got experience in writing a book. Doesn't mean I'm an expert. It means that I have experience because I did something. I took action towards what I wanted. Doing the work, being intentional, attending an event, practicing your accumulated skills. It doesn't have to take years or decades. It just takes intention. You can actually have more experience in less time than say your leading expert by doing the work and being intentional. Have you ever met somebody that they just learned a new skill that you've been trying to learn and master for a long time and it seems like they're just running circles around you? <laughs> I hate those people too, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, like we've all met that person that somehow is just that super excellent, good. They're good at everything and everything they try. They just seem to be a natural at it and all these different things. They don't, it doesn't take forever for them to learn. Well, I'm definitely not one of those people. I have to practice. I have to work hard. I have to try things and fail things over and over and over again and trial and error and trial and error. But I never quit. I get determined to figure it out. But sometimes it takes longer than others. The difference is the intentional work. If somebody has a lot more time to dedicate to a skill than you do, then they're probably going to excel a lot faster. They're gaining more experience than you by the day, by the hour. That doesn't matter because guess what? Just to let you know, we're not, this is all not some sort of competition and race to the end. You are your only true competitor. Do you want to gain more experience? Do you want to remember your experiences? Be intentional about gathering them up. I am intentional about gathering memories and gathering experiences. I would for sure much rather get tickets to something and go to something and experience something. Even if it was something I was like, eh, it's not my favorite thing. I'd rather have that experience than someone to give me something that comes from a box or a store because I am storing up memories for myself forever. I love experiences, I love talking about them. And Jean is right about her quote when she says, experiences get better every time you talk about them. We all know a storyteller in our family, right? Or family or friends where they, every time they tell the same story, there's a different detail that they didn't say before. Maybe it's exaggerated, maybe it's over the top, maybe it has some extra detailed words in them. But we lean into these stories because our experiences make us who we are. Our experiences help us connect with others. It's that me too feeling. It's like, oh, you've been to such and such conference? Me too. Did you meet so and so? Me too. How did that impact your life and your business? It creates connection, understanding, belonging. It's something that even the best course can't really teach you. You can learn material and you can put it into practice and you can crush it doing that. But when you gather around an experience, it brings it to a whole new level. Now, I don't know about you, but I am really excited to gain some new experiences. I am over not traveling. I am over not, you know, staying in my little comfortable bubble. I want to have a lot of experiences. And 2023 is no different. As a matter of fact, one of my first experiences is going to be a workshop in January. I absolutely love workshops. I can remember the faces, the places, the first times, the last times, the different events over and over and how they've each changed my life. Did you guys know that? If you've been to one of my workshops, first of all, thank you for coming. I don't forget you. I remember the experiences. I remember the details. I remember you guys working through your frustrations and your aha moments and your breakthroughs. It changes me too. And I love that because I get to grow with you. 
We get to grow together. I want to have more experiences. I'd love to have one with you. So if you're considering your business growth for 2023, because y'all, it's right around the corner. We have what, like 40 some days left of 2022 as this episode airs. Every year, I want to grow and change and be better than I was last year. And I do that by going and starting my year off right in my business by going to trade shows. Trade shows and attending trade shows and attending live events, especially at the beginning of the year, sets the tone for my business growth for the year. I love starting off the year with a plan and goals in mind and ways to execute those. That's how I crush goals. Now, let me just be honest, full transparency here, just like normal. I set really small goals. <laughs> I do. If you've let, if you've read my book, Dream Big, Step Small, you would know this. Like, I need to attain my goals. I can't set these huge lofty goals that people have like, oh my gosh, if I fall short, it's fine because I'm still reaching higher than I was before. That's a great concept for a lot of people. For me, it's soul crushing. It's like, why on earth would I set the bar so high that I can't even achieve it? It just makes me feel like crap. (laughs) I need the carrot on the string. I need to actually reach it and take a bite and be like, oh yeah, that tastes good. I think I'll chase that carrot a little bit more. Some people are fine with the carrot just dangling there and constantly reaching and constantly reaching. No, I need to reach and obtain and observe and experience that win so that I can do it again. So that's how I'm wired. I know not everybody's wired that way, but figuring out how you're wired is really a great way to help yourself be motivated. I like to have these experiences and and it's not just that I like them. It's not just like, oh, this is leisurely and for fun. It, it's growth. I can't unlearn. I can't unsee. I can't unbe in a place and experience and learn and talk with people. And so that's what I love to do. And I would like to invite you to come experience trade shows with me. We have a couple of different events coming up for Mommy Income in 2023, one being a Confident Wholesale Bundlers Workshop right in January in Dallas, right at the beginning of January. It literally starts January 4th. So it's Q4, holiday, Christmas, New Year, bam. We are hitting the ground running for 2023. And then we're going to do another event in Las Vegas. Just a trade show, guided trade show walkthrough. So if you don't have the time or um, it's something that's just a stretch for you, you can't always go to the full on workshop, that's okay. We have something for you as well. And for those of you guys that want to dig really deep and get super vulnerable and get super intimate and get super serious about your goals, we're going to be having a mommy income retreat this year. Yep. We are going to have a retreat where we are going to dig deep into our business and our goals and our desires and what we want out of our life and how we're going to get that because you deserve that because you work hard. All of you are working hard right now and you deserve to have fun in your life and enjoy the fruits of your labor. We were not built to work ourselves to death. We need to enjoy not only the process, but the fruits of our labor. You work to make money so that money can get you the things that you want or the peace that you want or getting away from that boss that you can't stand. The goals are real, no matter how big or how small they are. Your goals are important and real. And I intend to help you with that. Now, I know there's some amazing teachers out there, tons of mentors and coaches and courses for your consumption. It's everywhere. I bet you could pick up your phone right now and scroll and won't get past a 30 second scroll before you see an ad for another course and another thing and another whatever. But I will tell you this, who's offering hands-on learning experiences in today's digital online Zoom filled world 
Who's got hands-on learning experiences available to you to grow your business? Who's willing to walk with you side by side through a trade show to help you experience it for yourself? Because to be honest, the first time I went to a trade show, I was super overwhelmed. I almost threw up and I wanted to leave. Just be honest. And I love talking to people. (laughs) So if I felt like that, I can't imagine how it feels for someone who hates talking to people and doesn't want to do all this. And it's just part of the business. I've got your back. Because I've been there and done that. I've had that experience of almost throwing up and not wanting to talk to someone and not knowing what to say and feeling like a fool and saying, oh my gosh, I said the wrong thing. Or them shooing me out of their booth because I I said something about Amazon and Amazon's the big bad wolf to some of these brands. Who else is willing to fly across the country to meet you face to face So you can gain the necessary skills and experience that you need to thrive in your business. I am. I want to experience this with you because I truly believe at the core of my being that experiences will change people. I want to work with you and develop your first bundle. Or maybe your third bundle or your tenth bundle. I want to experience this aha moment with you. You know why? I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to be selfish. It's because that's what puts fire in my soul. That is what makes me sit here every day and talk to you guys through this video and through these microphones. Because my sole purpose is to watch other people succeed. I literally just got goosebumps right now just saying that out loud. My life's purpose is to help you gain the experience that you need to have your best life. This world becomes a better place when people become better versions of themselves and then constantly deposit that into the people in their lives. It's this compound interest of people growth, I guess. And if you can deposit these experiences into people's lives and then they take that and then they deposit it into their spouse's life, their children's life, their neighbor's life, wherever else, then you have constant uplifting of everyone. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> I don't just teach about, I teach about Amazon, sure, but that's, that's the deep core purpose. It's to have experiences and have those experiences change me for the better, change you for the better. That's like what makes you the happiest. That's what makes me the happiest. Seeing people thriving and having aha moments and having ideas that come to fruition, that come out and seeing Ideas that I see in workshops and people are like, oh, I have this great idea for this bundle. And then three months later, watching that person launch that bundle and selling out their first week. That's what I live for. I want that to be you. So will you come to one of these events? Come and just give me a hug or shake my hand or sit with me and let's talk. Because I know, I already know that I'm going to learn something from you. So is that selfish? Probably. But it's mutual. So let's learn together. Let's figure this stuff out. And let's accelerate our growth and our progress together. Because I want to meet you. I do. I want you to head over to mommyincome.com forward slash events. And I want you to check out our events page. We have a couple of different options, some for the full workshop, some for just guided trade show walkthroughs, and even the retreat wait list. It'll be farther off in 2023. So you have plenty of time to plan for that. But I'm challenging you, whether it's with me or someone else or something that's been in the queue and you're not quite sure if it's something that is right for you, consider an event. Consider a meetup, consider a mastermind, consider a trade show walkthrough or a workshop or a conference. It will change your life. It will give you new perspective, new ideas, renewed motivation and inspiration to keep working towards your goals because your goals are worth it. It's your life. 
your goals are worth it. So I'm going to challenge you to attend an event. And then I want you to tell me about it. (laughs) Because if you go to an event and have an experience, I love to sit and listen to people talk about their experiences because their face changes, their body language changes, they're, they're inspired and motivated and they can't help themselves. And I absolutely love those moments. And I want to hear about yours. So make sure you go to mommyincome.com forward slash events and see which one might be right for you. There's only a limited number of spots at my events because I intend to personally meet everyone, work with you one-on-one individually and in groups, get to know you and your business. I can't do that for hundreds and hundreds of people at a time. So they're small gatherings so that we can maximize our learning opportunity and our experience. I'm excited to meet you. Go to mommyincome.com forward slash events and since you stayed all the way to the end, you get a special discount. It's workshop 2023. Save a little bit of money on one of these events. I can't wait to meet you. We'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.